Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Great Goatee Hunt from MinMax. I'm Ben Hansen. Every week, we let uh, the Patreon community over at MinMax vote on what game we play, what game we stream every Tuesday. And this week, some options were like, hey, maybe that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 remaster. Maybe we could do Resident Evil Resistance, the new 4v1. And by a landslide, the wonderful community on Patreon said, nay, we want good job on the Nintendo Switch. And to that, I say, good job. Uh, I'm not here alone. I'm also with... Let's see, Serial Vasquez over here. Hello. And Jeff Marquefava over here. Hello. <laughs> Ma. All right. Should we get rolling with this thing? Do it. Okay. You guys can see okay, yes? Absolutely. Yeah. Great. Let us know if levels are okay. Um, uh, we're doing this uh, remotely. We're trying to be safe and sound, and Jeff, um isn't um isn't afflicted with the virus but you can never be too careful <laughs> no jeff um, he's been playing too much resident evil 3. that's oh. right oh how sad there's co-op play we could really uh we could really be having a fun time if we were here together yeah that's okay uh good visual design so far so i'm curious as far as i know this is a nintendo developed game uh, and it seems to be a little bit in the vein of like a job simulator and stuff like that so i'm very curious to see how this actually Shakes out. Did you guys watch the trailer for this or anything? It was in nope. the direct, right? Yeah. I watched it then. Developers Paladin Games. Oh, interesting. You want to do some research on Paladin Games for us? Remotely there, Surreal? Paladin Games? Yeah. It's nice. It's like taking the art style of like the portal tutorials and turning it into a whole thing. That kid's not taking the job seriously. He's gonna get his family killed. Uh, welcome, Branford Hubbard. Welcome, Joshua Miller. Welcome, Hudak. Edgar Vasquez is in here. Uh, a lot of friends. Raisin B-Man. Testalende on Twitch. Thanks for being here. As always, with uh, MinMax Streams, if you happen to support MinMax right over there um, on Patreon. During the stream, we'll give you the shout-out, and as Jeff insists on calling it, the cream dream thrill of a lifetime, so uh, Damn it. we'll see you there. Oh, good. Uh, people are saying they were curious about checking this game out. I was looking forward, too. Like, I was looking for reviews. I saw one review pop up today, and it was at 9. So, I mean, if it's just this for another it. five hours. Um, it was actually Reggie fils -Aimé. Oh, there you go. Yeah. He's independent now, so... That's right. Very trustworthy. Counts. He's um, running that ultimate indie game. Life. That's right. Um, Jeff, um, I gave you my mic. I notice you're banging on the table every once in a while, just in anticipation of this game. But yeah, don't do not do that, you ape. Uh, Sorry. That's all right. How's that mic working out? Were you scared about uh, setting it up? I plugged it in, and it seems to be okay. So. Oh, good. Well, this is already a good game. Got a gang beasts vibe to it, mixed with like the uh, the the lab. Yeah, yes, the lab is a really interesting comparison for sure. <laughs> All right, how much? Turns out, uh, if you Google Paladin Games, you just get the game Paladin. Oh no, developer. So I'm still looking. That's a really cute little jump. Ready to start the job. Is this basically the Goose Game, but you're a kid now? Yeah. Yep, they developed it um, right after the Goose Game won Game of the Year at, at DICE, so... There you go. It's kind of a frantic development. They wanted they, to go for... They've uh, apparently made... Uh, if, if I'm at the right one, which is PaladinStudios.com. Yeah. They've made My Tamagotchi Forever, <laughs> Stormbound, Amazing Katamari Damacy for mobile. Oh, wow. Galaga Wars, uh, Stop Me When You've Heard of One. Uh, Momonga Pinball Adventures. Okay. Alice in Wonderland. Puzzle Golf Adventures. RC Racer, Nico, Nico RC Racer, and Inner Cities. And now, uh, hey, a hit Nintendo game, so not too bad for Paladin Games. <laughs> Just... Look, don't be alarmed, everybody. This is exactly how it has to go. Just gonna drown this man real quick. Oh, I thought he picked it up for a second. What is your job right now? Uh, I think I'm choosing, right? You're choosing what what job to do? Or I guess it's all finance stuff. Uh, improve meetings attendance. Should we go into anything here? Which one do you want? 
It's do, going to find it. One, yeah, do All the right. one you were just at. The 101. Mm-hmm. Well, this seems to be in order. <laughs> Uh, we just posted, somebody said that uh, they enjoy the Patreon exclusive stuff. Thank you so much. Um, so that is very exciting. Because of the $5 tier, you get access to the audio feed. And just this morning, we posted the video game Spelling Bee from VGMCon early in March, which was super fun. We had like a crowd of folks and made them spell words like fils just for a callback to this stream, uh, and a bunch of other fun stuff. And uh, people did surprisingly well. Yeah. Shocking, I would say. Absolutely. Oh. oh so, my. is that a good thing that I did that, or is that costing yeah, me? Did you get $10,000, or are you in debt for $10,000 now? I think I might have got $10,000. Oh, hang on. Can I, like, whip this thing up into a frenzy? Didn't it look like it left the ground for a second? Alright, maybe not. It Maybe because it was over the steps. Oh, that could be. All right, time to do my job with the projector. Oh, hello? Excuse me, I'm here for the projector, sir. Yes, yes, don't mind me, yes. <laughs> this seems like your type of game, Jeff. very cute, yes it does. Okay, I'll just wrap my body around this. Wrap oh my God. His neck. I'll set up your projector, all right. So are they just letting you do whatever you want to do because you're, like, the CEO's kid? I think that's the case, yeah. Oh, look at this. So, okay. Also, when, when a maintenance man enters the office, you just kind of let him do whatever he wants, assuming yeah. he knows what he's doing. Yes, absolutely. So he does something that willingly harms you. And then you still kind of let it slide. Yeah, you're fun. like, oh, well, you know, he knows best. All right, let's see. Oh, so then... So it is already plugged in? I mean, so I did set it up, right? Or do I have to now bring no, it? No, it has, you have to take it to the other room. Okay. So you're trying to move both to the next room? Uh, it was, it was to the northwest. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me, folks. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, we got to It's not going to fit. Well, you're going to break that window? Dilly or whatever. Oh, um, oh, oh, I bet I, I can. Plug power. The plug. Yep. So power the door. To then get big enough to I think this is gonna work. Yes, okay. Now is this twangy guitar string in the way gonna be a Oh no. <laughs> oh wait. Oh there you go. Okay. So you just kinda Oh people say this. You have to get it up the step the steps. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Through the wall Yeah oh. <laughs> Good game confirmed. Nice. Excellent. Has anybody played this in the chat? I'm curious if everybody's checked it out yet. Uh, people ask if there's a Twitch stream today. Yep, yeah, it should be up on Twitch. Twitch.tv uh, slash minmax show. Um, all right. Well, we just need to get this turd out of here. Grab onto it. God. Doesn't look like it's working. Twitch? Push. No, no, no. no. You, you trying to grab that thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, it seems like there's plenty of people in the chat. Uh... Well, just keep on. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I hope you understand the situation. We just really need this projector. Okay. Uh-huh. Coming through. Coming through. So, do I have to bust through this wall? It's that dark room. Uh, what happens? Mm. There's that plug on the fridge you might be able to use as a slingshot again. And just or like, on the vending machine. Yeah. Well, let's see. I don't know. You're right. Can you go through the door just by yourself? Can you get into that room? Hello. So maybe. There you go. Okay. And now... That opened the door, but also created another slingshot. Which Perfect. Is... Which is the goal of all good games here. Mm -hmm. Then let me. Nope, nope, nope. Well, you know what? Why not? Oh. So I am very clearly compensated for this. Oh, hang on. Really? So it's all just going to be a, a series of slingshots, I wonder? So then now you slingshot it the other way so that it breaks... You remove the plug from the other room. 
Yeah, because the door is completely broken open now. Right, right, okay. Uh, would either of you want to jump on chat, please? Uh, Don't uh, both you, you jump just... on it at the same time. Uh, where is the super projector? Where did that go? Down to your down. Down to your down? Right oh, yeah, right there. Great. So, will this launch me as well, or can I... You can just push it in. Like hell we can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, can I put some other stuff in here? Adam Walker says apparently Modern Warfare 2 is out now on PlayStation 4. Oh, it is. Oh, interesting. Well, there we go. But, you know, do unconfirmed that, reports. Do that yeah. giant trophy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sucked. Um, oh, well, can slingshot I... Slingshot the giant trophy. Oh. I like your thinking. Um, I guess I'll go... Well... Bah! Uh, <laughs> How disappointing. Uh, I was hoping to really ruin their day. Okay, excuse me. It's basically just, um... Insurance fraud from Saints Row at this point, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that seems good. Okay, and then can I murder <laughs> a man? Yeah, it's up on uh, PSN for twenty bucks. Oh, well, it looks like he was having fun with that. Oh, that's cool. Twenty bucks, huh? That's really weird timing, isn't it? Yeah, it's also weird that it's just the campaign. It's literally just the campaign. Which, yeah, uh, I enjoyed. Modern Warfare 2 is multiplayer a lot. But I guess they're not doing that one because they have another competing product. Yeah. Yeah, they'll save it, I guess. But, I mean, that's been rumored for years, so I wonder how long it's just been sitting yeah. there. But it's a weird time. Okay. And then... Hey, look at that! Good job. Perfect. Okay, now that's to see the game. If the damage you did was costing us money... If uh, that guy had come into your office, would you have given him a B after all of, all of what he did? I don't know what else I would do. I would absolutely just hand him a giant B and and then just thousands and thousands of dollars because I wouldn't be aware of what else was going on. So the $100,000 of damage was a D, but does that mean we didn't do enough or I, we did too much? I mean, if this game is trying to be fun, and it certainly seems like it's trying to be a fun game, I would think that it wants us to do more damage. Don't you think? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Let me just shove this guy. Is that how vending machines work? I think so. Right, I think he's so. out of there. He oh. doesn't like that one bit. Can I shatter this pot with the cans? Ah! Great oh. game. This is great. This is incredible. Well, you <laughs> got to fix the internet now. Oh, okay. I'm very good at this. Uh, I do this all the time for the Midmax Studio here. I believe it's less damage, higher score. No. I guess otherwise you'd just be completely mopping up everything. Yeah, I guess maybe I guess maybe it does pay to be a little careful as as a repairman. I guess. I mean Okay, try not to break anything in this in this level. Okay. That will answer the question. Just gotta plug it in, right? Seems pretty easy. How hard can it be? Hang on, I have to write down to remember that I played this game. This I think you just have to give everyone the Wi-Fi password now. Oh, okay. I think I can do that. Okay, so be very careful, you're saying, Jeffem? Mm hmm Well, let's take a look at this. Perfect. That's uh, the Wi-Fi hat. <laughs> just rub up against me, folks. <laughs> okay. Am I... Where am I trying to get it to? Well, there was another Wi-Fi thing up to your northwest again. Okay. Speaking of Wi-Fi, did you guys ever have the that um, Nintendo DS Wi-Fi dongle that you that was like a USB thing you had to plug into your computer so your DS could connect to Wi-Fi? No, no, that sounds wild. Yeah, you had to do it basically to play Mario Kart online, and then they abandoned it like a few years later. Oh, really? But it was this weird proprietary thing where if you want to play online on your Nintendo DS, you either have to plug this thing into your computer or you have to go to McDonald's because we've partnered with them <laughs> to let you play Mario Kart DS there. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's weird. I probably will never go to McDonald's and play games again. That's a sad realization. Not after the last time. <laughs> yeah, they well, they won't let me back. They have wanted posters. Yeah. Uh, this is you're the Hamburglar. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay, so there's the other Wi-Fi one. Okay. Oh, you, so, so you have to reroute the internet cable? Well, first I need to interact with the human centipede, I believe. Right. So yeah, were people. you just were you just supposed to be pulling the cable all the way to that other room? That seems likely, don't you think? Um gosh, so what do you do in this situation then? No damage, Jeffum. Uh just go back and pull that plug. See how far Well, we what can about the sparkly up? thing on top here though? Yeah, people were mentioning it in chat, but what do you think of uh, Final Fantasy copies being out early in Europe? Uh, yeah, I was confused if that's just like some store has been selling them. It's not like a more official thing. It's still just weird mistakes that are making that happen, right? Yeah, well, it's weird because I think it's the first time I've seen a company put out an official notice about it. I think oh. sometimes companies will put out like notices that, that are like, hey, spoilers might be online. But I think Square Enix directly acknowledged it that some company, some out, some copies are going out early in Europe. Yeah. And I wonder if it has anything to do with like coronavirus stuff. But if they're like, hey, please don't spoil it. Copies right. are out there early now in Europe. Yeah, and so you know it's that tricky thing of not knowing exactly how much you can spoil a remake and stuff. But um, I don't wonder yeah. if that implies that there is some more going on here than we think. But I'm in the camp of I think we've seen the ending of that game. I think we've seen basically everything in the remake based on how thorough they've been in their trailers and stuff. Okay, I yeah. mean, I guess we'll just go for the the yeah. long haul. I guess they did it for Kingdom Hearts, too, someone is pointing out. And that, I guess they might be sending some out for the U.S. as well. Mm, okay. Um, don't mind me, everybody. God, those gold vases are just screaming my name. I know. Uh-oh. What do you make of this? That's as long as it is? I guess so, unless it's just like a weird... Well, it seems to be chugging a little bit, which is a bad sign for the Nintendo Switch. That seems... That seems weird and clippy. Well... Okay, well... Can I... No. Try just going straight up through the office instead of going around that big pillar. Okay, or maybe I could even, like, blast holes. Is that what it wants me to do, do you think? Could you just place it on the counter there and then pull it through? Play oh. Yeah. Can you, can you even pick stuff around. up? Um, you can a little bit. You can you can move stuff enough. Um, okay, so let me go back. I wish there was just like an automatic. Also, I wish there was a run button. Um, I wish there was like Retract an button. Yeah, yeah, like a sweet uh, measurement tape thing. Is that what that's called, Jeffum? You're a craftsman. Yeah. Okay. That's always terrifying when you when you hit that sucker. I'm just I know. convinced that it's going to take off my thumb. Uh, get out of here. I'm trying to do the internet boxes, and now I'm just making it worse. <laughs> get out. It is weird how it, it is a little choppy every once in a while. Like. This is basically Half-Life, Alex. Ha! <laughs> How's that going, Zariel? Uh... Pretty good. I'm almost done with it, so I so we should have more in-depth thoughts. But uh, I, it's weird to leave a game and ha oh, like to have to stop a game every time just because you're in physical pain. So every oh time, oh my god, it ends with like, ow, like my my head hurts from like the from wearing the headset. And so like they've gotten this weird Pavlovic reaction of like, I don't want to play the game that makes me hurt again. <laughs> don't hurt me, Alex. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, all right, you know what? We're going to plan B, because I don't know how well that's going to work. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to try and blast a hole in that wall right there. Is there any other Final Fantasy you would do a deepest dive on besides the 7 remake? Uh, all of them. I would love to do... Yes! Look at that. Um, is that what you meant by zero damage, Jeffum? Yeah. Um, Close enough. So you are at a pretty nice piece, piece of damage, though. Yeah. I would love to do um, Final Fantasy V. Maybe not the number five. one choice, but I think about, like, um, I don't know. I think that'd be an interesting one just to talk more about systemically. And you've played five, right? Yeah, it's probably my favorite of the early ones. That's right. You did say that. 
Um, I mean, I guess I'll just keep... Well, where are we trying to get to again? It's way up here? Okay, so I guess I'll just blast a hole through this again. Just pull huh? it straight? I don't know if it can make it. I think I gotta make a hole that's just like the straightest possible shot. Right. Go on this way. <laughs> All right, that man now has a standing desk. The job was a success. We only had to make one hole in the office. Is this a thing? Is this gonna work? Wow. Oh, Great. Money. What a cool game. And just to make sure this MF is open. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, this is 20 bucks on the eShop in case you're curious. Oh, look at that. People say five is very underrated. Yeah, I mean, there's a, a million that I would love to do. Well, there's probably like 15 I would love to do, but... Um, At least. Yeah, but I think Curse five would Chronicles. be different. Yes, that's true. Mystic uh, Quest. I'm a big Type Zero fan. Uh, Ten two. Look at that. I did. Um, if you're a Final Lightning Fantasy returns. fan, that's true. But if you're a Final Fantasy fan, I was on a US Gamers podcast, uh, their RPG podcast, which is called Acts of the Blood God, and it's basically a spoiler cast for Crisis Core because I watched like a three and a half hour YouTube cut of Crisis Core on the PSP game, um, and talked all about it. It was super fun. So you can check that out. BDD. Oh, look at this. Dan Snacks over there on Twitch. Hello, Dan. Back to work. Just because you're working from home, buddy, doesn't mean you got time to watch Good Job. Boink, 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 boink. All right, 103. Here we go. Uh, Jeff, how's your, uh, how's your home life? It's great. Are you stir crazy or is it just normal? Uh,. A little bit. I spent like an hour and a half yesterday uh, whittling wood outside. Whittling wood outside? Yep. Oh my god. Also, you're getting way too close to that mic again. Well, what did I, you whittle? I was walking a, uh, across the kitchen to get some more tea. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, that seems fun. And you're just like trying to whittle new toilet paper or? Yeah. Okay. If you shave it, if you shave it, uh, Thin enough. <laughs> hey! Uh, you can you can make a, a, a stake sharp enough to stab the virus when mm -hmm. it comes near you. That's right. Oh, come uh, on, little Grand buddy. Grand says, is Final Fantasy V the one with the job systems that were released on 3DS? No, that uh On the 3DS, maybe, but I think the DS one was the Final Fantasy III, which also had a different, like a similar job system. Right, that is confusing, but it is the one with the job system. It is the renowned yeah. job system. It is system the one, one where with like the most refined job system. Yeah. Um. So I'm just supposed to be bringing these idiots over here. Come here. Like shoving them. I mean, it can't possibly want me to do this. <laughs> that Pick sucks. Up. Nope. You will. You moved them. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe you're trying to slingshot them? I don't know. Put them on chairs and stuff? Let's see what everybody else is up to. There might be a good indicator over here. Mm. Is that, I think someone spotted a switch on the table in that room. A Nintendo Switch? Yeah. Oh my god. As I live and breathe. Oh, that's very fun. Hey, this is how I play my job. And Just because you're working at home. Yeah, I'm getting too comfortable with it. Uh, let's see. If the workers would just follow me um, and my beautiful... Okay, sorry. Hey. Hey, friendo. I could really use you to go to this other room. And I think I'm going to have to force you to go. Nope, not that. Perfect. Nope, nope, nope. See, this is the weird part, is like trying to figure out how to... Okay, so unplug it and then move him to the other side. Yeah. And then you can slingshot him. Now we're having fun with physics. All right, let's shove this sucker in there. I like the implication that everyone else around you is just... It, like, you're supposed to be kind of dumb, but like everyone else is basically so inept that they're not <laughs> capable of moving on their, of their own free will without right, you. Right, right. If only there were some way to get people from one place to another. <laughs> Just please go near it. Uh -huh. Well. 
Okay. Well, you know he's what? He's alive. He's alive enough. There's one of your guys. Hope you enjoy. Also, very weird work attire that they're all wearing, like, construction outfits in an office setting. But I guess you're justifying it. Yeah, exactly. They came prepared. Uh, okay, so let's use the... Well, the vase is going to break immediately, won't it? Do you think I can get through that wall with the plant? What happens if you break that gold vase? You get 10,000 big ones. Wow. So look alive, baby. All right, let's see. Can oh. you not just go through that door? <sighs> Didn't even refer to a dollar Jeff, as a big one. It needs to be happening more often. Yeah, Jeff, I'm, I mean, I could go through the door if that's what you're interested in. But then the question becomes, how do I do get him stuff? out of there? Let me try. Hmm. Get out of the way. Just if quick you, box hump. If you push a chair into him, will he sit down? Hmm. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. <laughs> um, okay, hang on. Chef, um, you go. God. You're very good. How's uh, Resident Evil 3 going for you, Jeff? Without spoiling anything for the MinMax show. I beat it. Did you really? Oh, great. What was your uh, total playtime? Um, I want to say like 10 hours. Really? Cause, yeah. Okay. I'm, um, I saw a game explain. They're like, oh, we beat it in four and a half hours. So I was like, oh my God, am I nearing the end here? Yeah. I saw, I saw a couple of those. I saw a lot of things. Saying, saying around yeah. five hours. Yeah. Um, but I, I play those games slow. Okay. Anyway, so, so. Uh, again, leaving it cryptic, I'm like defending in the hospital. Do you have a sense of how far I am? Uh, maybe like two thirds. Okay, that's a very good indicator. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll need to play a lot of that tonight. Um, have you checked out Resistance yet? Mm -mm. Okay, I still need to to hopefully check that out. I know yeah. there's the open beta, and I think it's on PC now. Uh, is this gonna work? Look at that. There you go. Just come up the... This is like the second act of Wally, -E, right? I think so. There we go. <laughs> Can I now do that again and he'll like launch through it? Okay. Well, that's great. Uh, and then what is this shiny thing over here? Oh. Well, You're how cute. Hurt. Well, how do we get this MF out of here? Do we have to go the opposite direction? Well, you can just push him up the up the steps, right? I don't On the other side. I think so. Uh, I think. Oh no! No one mind me. <laughs> um. Oh, hang on. Really? Is it going to be? Is it possible to just? Okay, hang on. Okay, maybe not. The answer is no. Okay, so let's you get. Sure you can't pull them up those steps. These over here? No, the other side. Well, yeah, I mean, I can pull up these steps if you guys are being maniacs. There you go. Thank you. Jeff, I need you on these sticks. Uh, and I'm going to blast that guy through. Okay, fantastic. Uh, and now where was this last mf -er? Right up there. Oh, he's here. All right, let's is he, see. Is he doing the I can get used to this pose? I think he is. And I'm going to make sure that he can't get used to it. He is last. <laughs> that uh, is true. On our uh, MinFax Colin show, uh, community member Bob Buell made me play Back of the Box trivia by myself. And it was very fun to yes. try and remember to do that for every question then. It was unclear exactly how it worked. Uh, well. How do you get that door open? Do I need to? Can I just ram it? Coming in, buddy! Try and hide. <laughs> He's terrified. All right. Now get in this chair. Thank you. Get in the chair. Get in the chair. It'll be good for you. 
Okay, and then we're gonna have the most fun possible send off for you. I'm putting you in the room with the other workers. <gasps> okay. You're doing a good job. Okay, here we go. Maybe. Oh, I'm God. going to slingshot you. Oh, no. Well, it sounded like he got where he was going. The Saw movies be better if it said, I want to play a game, and then it cut to this. Yes. Some guy trying to slingshot someone on a wheel on a chair with wheels. Serial, if you want to make a gazillion dollars from <laughs> I YouTube do. traffic, you should upload that video because people will lose okay. their minds. What if it was just like episodes of Jackass cut between moments of Saw where every Saw game was just like some Jackass skit? <laughs> hey, again, it, look, what else are you going to do? It's just it's That's the do-it-yourself revolution, man, so... Mm. Not too shabby. Auditorium. So can I get a promotion or should I just... Okay, I guess this is it. Or can I immediately skip to the next world? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, it's still locked. How many well, how many floors are there? Let's see, if it's like Sim Tower, I think there's going to be 69... Mm. Oh my god. Oh nine floors. Look at debauchery is happening up there. This is uh this seems well done. This is cool. Alright, back to this sucker. Kelsey uh in the chat says this seems very fun. I agree. Uh yeah, it's like that weird mushy puzzle game, which is a very specific <laughs> genre of video games, you know? It's like oh you can kind of ram very some things. Based. Uh, Bob Backward says that uh, your impression sounds more like Adam Driver, Surreal, so congratulations. Point, yeah. Do you want to play our game, Ray? Skywalker. <laughs> I think I already did this. Oh, no. Uh, yes, Soda Pop, this is only on Switch. This is published by Nintendo. Oh, I'm going to have to murder how they get you. all these people. Just be cool. Okay. Excuse me, everybody. What's all this piss everywhere? Did I do that? Mm -hmm. Uh, oh my god. Can I launch a cactus into their meeting? Oh, good game confirmed. Are you kidding me? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, but you hang on. get the cactus out first. Yeah, you're right. You're right. you think that this will ever... It's probably by Nintendo, right? So it'll never be on any other systems? In theory, no. But yeah. uh, look at like, well, hang on. Did Bayonetta 2 ever get on other systems? I guess not. But yeah. hey, look at Wonderful 101. It happened there, right? That's true. Oh, man. All right. Uh, Jeff, do you have a cool line that you'd say in an action movie right before you did this? Um, God, you really put me on the spot. Yeah. Hey, watch out for this cactus. Yeah! I blame your line. Yeah. What? What? No. That just goes back to the lobby. You're in... What? Wait. Oh, that's the elevator? It is? Yeah, the other stuff is up a level. Oh. That's really odd. The stairs are... Yeah. yeah, okay. Hello, morning people. Um, could I just get you to... Just get out of the way real quick, please. Hang on, what am I missing here? People want to know if you're playing Animal Crossing still? Oh yeah, for sure. We're going to record our second installment of the Community Game Club for Animal Crossing um, in a little bit here. And then that'll be going up tomorrow on our YouTube channel and uh, the podcast version in the audio feed for Patreon supporters. But uh, yeah, it's still the best thing ever and you're maniacs for not playing it. Maybe push that empty row of chairs uh, into those people. Oh, do you think? Like I can just like mop them up? Maybe. That would be very interesting. Hello. Hello, employers. Chefum. See? God. It's a puzzle game, so dude. So smart. And handsome. All right. Uh... Shrink. All right. And, uh, oh, there it is. 
So in order to get this... Is it this one? Yeah. Now what a predicament we got here. I guess just open it the hard way, huh? Although... Uh, no, no. Plug plug it into that... To the one it's next to? Yeah. And, and then, then go in. in the upper room. North... Northeast? I can't. It's, it's locked. Northeast. No, the other one. Behind the... Behind that... They're tricking you with that... Whiteboard. You're saying this one? Yeah. There's another switch up there. Jeff, um, How do you do this? Okay, now what do you... Then oh, I Drag see. that switch out to the other outlet. This no, one? The one, the one... No. Ah. <gasps> okay, so bring this one. <laughs> yes, take that here. one over there. Okay. You got it, buddy. Thank you. God, I wish your hands were on this controller. So do I. Here we go. Just trying to do my job here. Please. I'm no hero. This really makes me wish that um, Other the, door. the oh. country was back well, to work. Okay. There you go. I wish I could ride this down the stairs. Go, my child, go! <laughs> All right. Now, should I launch it at these MFers? Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, so you stay here. And then... I'm still confused about the shiny things and, like, how much... Yeah. There we go. All right, Suriel, it's your turn for your action movie line. Uh... I got nothing. I don't know, man. Yeah! <laughs> Did that do it? Is the problem solved? There you go. All you needed was to not have a line. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm wearing this hot outfit now. Where did he? Oh my! Oh no! Oh no! What have we done? Is it? Uh, where's it supposed to be? I guess. That green square right in the middle. <laughs> Do you think? Okay. okay. And now I'm gonna blind him. Do I need to leave that plugged in? You think? Da! Just right on their stupid good faces. <laughs> oh, see, well, it's, Brad, it's really their fault for sitting right in front of it. That's a good point. Brad Grin says, now that's what I call force projection. There you go. Very good. Welcome to my TED Talk. That was another one from the chat. This is good. Thanks, everybody, for being way smarter than we are. All right, let's see what else we got in this game. Uh, how's everybody doing? How's your week going so far? Are you looking forward to Resident Evil 3? What do you think of the reviews? We'll be talking about it on the MinMax Show podcast, but I know it's a confusing situation overall for the reviews being all over the place. Uh, oh, you've been promoted. Great. Don't mind if I do. I like this new wardrobe I've got, too. I think it's pretty slick. All right. No one likes the word logistics. But I guess when it's okay. in a game, it's fun. I like that that little loading symbol. Yeah. It was a mug. Oh, big old mug boy. I like uh, being able to interact with things in the lobby too here. Just like the new uh -huh. employee on this floor just immediately ruining their day. I'm going to pour this in your coffee, buddy. All right. And I wish I could like talk to the main person or something though. Stop working. <laughs> you pay attention to me. Did. Oh, no, nope, he didn't. <laughs> pay attention to me. I need your love. Okay. Mm -hmm. This person is not going to stop. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, pretty good. Oh, all right. Yeah, they chilled eventually. Container storage. Got it. Logistically speaking, are there people who don't like the word logistics? Good question. Uh, the word logistics gets me beyond rigid. I don't know what Hanson's talking about. Okay, Sam. This is, look, MinMax is a family-friendly outlet. Yeah. Should the price tag of a game feature into the score of a review? Take it away, Jeff Marquis Fava. Uh, probably not. It, 
I mean, I guess that gets to the idea of what people are looking for in reviews, and there is there are kind of two schools of thought, which is you're either trying to critically assess what is good or bad about a game versus you're just wanting to figure out whether you should buy a game and play it or not. Right. And so I guess if you lean towards the latter, then maybe that factors in, but I think most reviewers would like to believe that they're doing more than that and kind of assessing what works about a game and what doesn't. Right. Case, price probably shouldn't factor into that. Just because it'll stand the best of time a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, like Siskel and Ebert don't take into account the price of a movie ticket when they review the movie, you know? Right. Well, they yeah, might Especially now. since that stuff changes, right? Like, is when if a game reviews poorly and then the price goes down, is it a better game all of a sudden? Right. Yeah. And so is Dota 2 the greatest game of all time? Of course That's not. Right. Yeah. But that's independent of its price. Right, right. All right, you well. I want to start with the blue ones, Hanson. I'm sorry, Jeffem? Do you have some the sort of brainiac idea? The ones that are idea? in the way? <gasps> Again, I don't know. <laughs> How do you play games? <laughs> Not well, I assure you. Okay. And just leave this over here, Jeffem yeah. style. What do you think that little baby one's for? Oh, so we got to sort them so am i stacking biggest the on the bottom one, the one? yeah probably know. or if the blue ones are just in the way and you gotta get the green one over there Ooh. look at that see that oh, promo oh that was nice thank you thank you sorry sorry everybody if you just want to just hang out here oh god no yeah there you go <sighs> all right and then get little little perpzilla out of here one, yeah Okay, this has got to go. Over. Now you have, to, yeah, you have to put the purple ones in the purple square? Yep. Uh, I just don't know if they need to be stacked in a weird way. So, I guess we got to shatter through that. Right? How would this game play in the oldest house? Oh, great idea. Question? question from your brother. Okay. Uh, yeah, this basically is just... <laughs> control sequel. Okay, yeah. let's see if we can actually... You're being promoted to the director at some point. Oh! I guess I don't need to do anything you more than break that. break it. Yeah. Yeah, once I get up to that penthouse, baby. Oh, it's gonna be sweet. Get the new suit. Get everything. Uh, okay, let's go the long way home. Yeah, this is one of those games that... I don't know if it was served by dropping right at the reveal. You know? I, yeah. It seems cool. I just It seems like people aren't really talking about it. Yeah, that's a winner. I guess, how much would marketing have done for this game, though? Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to just have it on your radar for a month or something. But, yeah, I guess I guess that's fair. I also, it's just, I'm <laughs> confused that other outlets haven't reviewed it yet, but I guess there's just so many games to play right now. Yeah, but, it's maybe not a great time to release this. And everyone's still trying to figure out how... To work from home and everything so yeah i'm i'm shocked that other outlets haven't picked it up all right so let's uh easy now and then little purple jeff i'm, I'm going to lose sleep tonight thinking about uh not moving the blue crates first <laughs> well we do it as a team yeah you're right even long distance okay and then do you think it's gonna be bizarre recording the mid-max show this week jeff remotely it's gonna be a little weird but i was surprised at how easy all the technology was you mean for getting this set up yeah yeah i just plugged the mic in it actually recognized it right away yeah uh, i didn't I don't know what Kyle, how Kyle has so many problems. With well, he, he has a different thing. It's not like a straight USB. He's got weird adapters and stuff. But yeah, every time we record something with Kyle, and I hope he's not watching, it's at least uh, two and a half hours of uh, It's a tech nightmare. It's a living nightmare. It really is terrible. 
And also, like, all the power in his house is run off of his daughter in a giant hamster wheel. Yeah, and so he so, has to yell at her to run up. faster. I, I keep telling him to change that. He's really in love with it. Yeah, so he will just mute himself every once in a while just to shriek at her, telling her to go faster, faster. Okay, let's see. There's so many shiny things that I just want to... Okay, we need to take out this little Indiana Jones stack over here. Yeah. Oh, okay, great. So, hang on. The number of broken things is at 92 in the top. Yep. And so that's what I'm being knocked for? That and the amount of price. I think, like, the, the price for everything. Oh, okay. Please go in there. Thank you. Thank there you. Yes. This carnage is very satisfying to watch, says Jonathan. Well, hey, that's what Mnax is here for, if nothing but letting you watch the carnage. That kid's so proud of himself, too. <laughs> Why do you Good think he's job. a kid? I don't know if it's a kid, though. It could be an adult man. Yeah. No, that was the kid from the beginning. Oh. Is it important that he's a kid? Yeah, he was sitting next to his dad. Like a little dumb well, baby. Also be an, uh, adults have dads. Yeah, Jeff, most adults have dads. Uh, I <laughs> Sorry. don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. You can Google the Wikipedia entry for father. Okay, here we go. More logistics. support group adults with dads. <laughs> <laughs> we need to gather in this time of need. Uh, I'm curious if all these are going to be crany. Oh, no. This game seems to be on top of it. And that man is the package. Crush the package. Oh. Oh, so we need to get it on an assembly line? What does this man know that I don't? Oh, that's good. All right. So. What in God's name? So is there another crane? Where does that go? A forklift. Oh, really? Yeah, I wonder if it's Multiple like going forklifts. into the other side. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm curious what co-op would be like on this, actually. Yeah, people are saying they like the co-op in this. Oh, really? Oh, good. Are, are they the same puzzles, or do things change? I don't know. So, well, if you know that, let us know. <laughs> Great. And you stay here now. <laughs> um... Okay, well... Apparently it's the same puzzles. Oh, that's really cool. And then... Nope, well... <laughs> what a mess. I mean, do I need the forklift now? And then... Uh... Nope, 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 nope. Hang on. Okay, and then... Uh-huh. Well, this seems very precarious. I would like one crown, please. Thank you. Okay. So, get the package down. Pick it up with the forky lift. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Easy now. Well, can I drive this up the stairs? Oh, thank you, Robert Hudak, for saying you'd still uh, make me forklift certified. Thank you. This is a little bit of my addition test. I'm going to send it to the appropriate folks after the fact. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. Can I push this sucker down? No. Jeff I'm Brainiac, what do you think? Well, he'll be missed. Serial Brainiac, what do you think? Uh, so you're, you're trying to put the package in the dispenser. I'm sorry to wake you up at this um, time. I think try to do what you have with the box already on you, though. 
Sorry, oh. my mic was on mute. Oh, that helps. And I don't know for how long. <laughs> it felt like a lifetime. Why are you pressing buttons on that mic? Uh, I had to cough. And oh, I, didn't want... I see. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I that explains why you why you weren't answering to me trying to tell you what to do. Yes, Can you please. just forklift the box from there? Yeah, could... Oh, yeah, you're That's probably right. That's as high as the forklift goes? No, there yeah, go. I bet this is yeah. exactly what I need to do here. Raise your forklift posts. Yes, correct, chat. You completely nailed it. Now let's see. Have we checked out Resident Evil 3 yet? Yeah, I think uh, Fava already beat it. Hanson's most of the way through it, and I'm also most of the way through it. How far are you, Surreal, without spoilers? I'm a little farther than you. Oh, really? Okay, wow. Yeah. Very impressive. Um, There's ever been a person that needs a forklift? It's Hanson. <laughs> Thank you. The seats. Now, what does that mean? I don't know. But it rings true, you know? It feels right. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a little go. janky. So now you got to do what you were doing earlier. You just try to move it up the platform and it's like... Yeah. Let's bring it all the way over here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, just put it up there and then you'll have to go get the other. I see. Get it from the other side. Easy. And then... Nope, easy, easy. Oh, what Dingleberry decided to bring the forklift up on this elevator? Oh no. Well, the forklift isn't coming down mm. with it. Maybe. Pop. Come on, video games. Oh no, it's because it's holding Just on to that thing. Go up on yep. the platform yeah, and then change and get rid the, of that thing. Or I could just drive this thing overall. Uh, Wilderex, this is my first time in your chat. Ben, Kyle, Serial, Jeff are all awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for joining us, Wilderex. Um, staying home so you get to watch the stream? Or what's uh, Tell us what the big change in your life is. Uh, all right, let's see. Really? Come no, on. Just get in it. Just get, it, get in it when it's up there. Oh, yeah, you're right. God. Of course you're right. I was trying to not damage the forklift by driving it off this effing thing. Yeah. Here we go. See you in hell. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> He's just trying to go about his day. Okay. I mean, as far as you know, he, he is still. Yeah, this is this is typical routine. All right, I'm going well, to. I'm going to lower my sobriety levels by a lot, so that's a good say, a good day so far. Oh, good. Is it, uh, where are you at in the country there, uh, Wilder X, or are you out of the country? What time zone are you in, I think is what I'm trying to ask. Okay. Forklifts are cool because they're kind of like dinosaurs, right? Okay, so. By which you mean? They roar and they're tall. Right? Doesn't this feel like a dinosaur? Okay. Sure. Great. Thanks. I'm really glad you guys always got my back. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, and then... Oh, God. Now, what do you recommend here? Oh, uh, you're going to have to move the other... Those big blue boxes over to create a bridge to the other side. Oh, my God in heaven. And I'm guessing and you're gonna I you're going to have to use a forklift to do it. Oh, no. This video game is ahead of me. <laughs> Forklifts are like dinosaurs. Be right back. i to change my thesis real quick. Yeah, you get it, man. All right. Let's let this sucker down. Okay. This is doable. And then we'll just politely drive this way. I like that the, uh, the forklift is the one object that never tips. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then, nope, nope. And then it really feels like overkill. I mean, how rock solid does this bridge gotta be? Great question. Putting it down. Look at That's this. It's looking pretty good. This is a brick S house. Okay, and then. Zorak is in Ohio. The land of open ideas, tolerance, 
12 persons, nothing but aggressive laws. Hmm. So that's why he can uh, get rid of his sobriety so early. Ah, you know? I see, I see. The curse. Okay. And then something like that. Okay. And perfect. Didn't even think of driving on those. I passed the box from the forklift to forklift. Oh, good. Yeah, it's cool that there's multiple different ways then to go about this, right? It's a good sign. Oh, no. So now you're gonna have to lower that other lift again. Coming in. All right. And... No, you fool. All right, here we go. Bum, 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 dun, 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 dun. This is gonna be so sweet. Perfect. Well, it felt perfect until it didn't. Like most marriages. Um, let's Are you married to that box? Is that? I feel like it, but the amount of time I'm looking at this thing. All right, is this gonna get snagged on that pipe? Oh my god. Okay, hang on. You're sort of moving it. We all like physics until they work against us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't push it off that ledge. I wouldn't dream of that. But if the forklift does it, it's not my fault. Oh my <laughs> god! Okay. Do it, I from mean, the, do it from the other side. From the... From, you want from, me to get around this way? Yeah. Oh my uh, god. Oh my god. Not, well, now, never mind. Can you only lift the the yes. forklift up a little bit? Oh. Oh my god. Come or on. Or does it always go that high? I think it always goes that high. Let, let's test it. I mean, I could... I guess I could jank it. Jank it. Oh my god. That thing jank is... Jank it. Dude, can jank you, it. Can you reverse as it's going up? Yes, I think so. Oh, I see what you mean. So as soon as you start, yep. just start going backwards? Yep. Yes! There right. you go. Nice okay. work, Jeff. Well, that's closer. Oh, easy. Easy. Okay, go around and, and do it from the other side now. Very smart. This is like troubleshooting my parents' computer over the phone. <laughs> it's like walking the Ethernet cable across their house, yeah. Yep. Okay. There we go. Crush the package. I hope it's just filled with... I don't know. Employees. Just money. Excuse me! Yeah, the good news is every time you F up and destroy stuff, it's still super satisfying, so it doesn't really feel mm -hmm. that bad. Um, although this is less than satisfying. Okay. There you go. See you in hell! Great! Hey, that's perfect! Good job. Ah, let's at least see what the next one looks good like, eh? Good job. Eh? Oh, hey, thanks, chat. Hey, thanks. We appreciate it. Mmm. Back to the lobby. Uh, we're going to be streaming a little bit more today as well. We actually have a lot of recording, but a lot of it's going to be uh, for the future, like we're doing the Animal Crossing Deepest Dive, which will be going live tomorrow on our YouTube channel or uh, the Patreon feed. Um, and then uh, this evening at 6 p.m. Central, I think the plan is we're going to we're gonna finish off Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII because we're getting down to it. This is, this is the end game for Final Fantasy VII and the celebration of it over here at MinMax, so... We got to finish that thing tonight, because then next week we're going to be streaming all of uh, Midgar in the original game. So it'll be fun if you want to tune into that, just to have that direct point of comparison and stuff. Uh, the happy workers themselves, eh? 21 workers. That's too much. That's too much. Well, hey, thank you for tuning into The Great Goatee Hunt, everybody. If you support us on Patreon, you get to vote for what we're actually streaming every single week. Uh, we usually have, like, yeah, two to four options up there, and then you choose, I definitely want to see good job, or I definitely don't want to see good job uh, moving through the, throughout the year. So, in theory, we're playing the games the community wants us to play that are new uh, every single week, and then plenty of bonus stuff on top of that. Anything you guys want to plug out there? No. Keep I doing this. Yeah. Could you plug the, um, the video game spelling bee? 
oh, hey, you should check out our video game Spelling Bee that is exclusive content for the MinMax Patreon, where we, Hang on. Okay, we we're did gonna a stop, live stop, Spelling stop, Bee. Stop, stop, we're gonna, stop. We're going to need another take of that, Jeff. Can you sincerely plug it without an ounce of sarcasm in your veins? That was pure authenticity. <laughs> I really want you to try. I think this is a good test. Okay. Uh, it was a fun thing that we did with a live audience. Where you we still, asked them a I, bunch mm, of... Doesn't sound like you're really saying it. You know what, Hanson? I just solved every one of these puzzles for you. Give me a break. <laughs> All right, you're right. Okay, yes. Take it away, sir. The floor is yours. It was a spelling bee that we did with a live audience at VGM Con. But they were all video game words, so the screwing, the spelling was screwed up for all of them. Yes, one of my favorite was, well, yeah, screwed up, but also just kind of tricky. Like one of them was Clob, the gun from Goldeneye, and seeing mm-hmm. if people could possibly spell Clob. Spoiler alert: the person didn't. But anyways, you can find that in the Patreon exclusive audio feed, along with the game clubs for the Final Fantasy VII remake, which is coming up very soon. The Animal Crossing that we're doing now. And then also the Chrono Trigger Deepest Dive, which is our big community game club, the best, most thorough discussion about the games on the internet. Um, and then also going back to Outer Worlds, and you also get access to the Min Max show early and Star Wars commentary tracks, Edwin Children commentary tracks. So please check that out. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for this fun stream. And uh, we'll see you tonight at 6 p.m. Central if you're watching this live for us finishing up Dirge of Cerberus on PS2. It's a wet and wild time. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Gross. Bye. Thank you.